right, next we have Kevin Carpenter. Uh, Kevin thinks Washington plus Arizona equals Costa Rica. He writes financial analysis software, gets a little too excited thinking about parallelism, wants to tell you about a four-year bug. Good morning. All right, so hope we can all have a bit of a laugh as I tell you about a bug that I've experienced, as it says, over the last four years. Uh, to give you some background, I took over this project in 2008. It's an MFC-based Windows desktop app. It's used to analyze interest rate risk. Um, kind of specific to credit unions. It's got a lot of legacy code. We're talking arrays of doubles in the length of 200 to 300,000, and it's keeping 20 or 30 of these in memory at once. 1,000 plus defines unused code paths. My favorite is the method that is actually over 19,000 lines long in a single method. <laughs> Not my making. Um, it's, uh, when I got it, it was Visual Studio 2005 and used Rogue Wave 2006. Rogue Wave has they build on MFC, but they have some great grid libraries, which, as you can see, the picture as it's used. Yeah, the, the Stingray. So um, I understand stability and the idea of you know having something that is solid and proven. But I like early adoption. You know, new tools the better, 64-bit, all that. So when we got the chance to move up to Visual Studio 2010, I was all for it. <coughs> Rogue Wave uh, plus the Visual Studio, it all went together great. Life was good. Then Visual Studio 2012 came out. And you know, Visual Studio 2012 was really nice. We had static analysis, a really cool interface, um, C++11, and a really cool interface, uh, better TFS integration, and a really cool interface. So <laughs> new features, though, mean new issues. And here we have that you know, gratuitous code where you take something human and put it into code. So you, know, you had new features in Rogue Wave. And I did try to make it C++11, by the way. Um, new features in Rogue Wave makes you know, the new release. We build the new release, and the testers get it and say, hey, my MRU is broken. And I'm like, I wasn't even there. I didn't touch it. <laughs> so the MRU, you, you mean you actually use that thing? Well, evidently they do. Um, but in the end, the problem came down that it wasn't even making any changes. All we got was a default file from the resource. Did some testing, couldn't figure it out, and the release was late. So you know, what do you do? You got to get your build out. Well, you compromise, you work around it. I mean, come on. So Visual Studio 2010 wasn't an option. Uh, you know, Visual Studio 2012 has got the static, inter static analysis and the cool interface and new C++ updates and the cool new, you, you get the point. Um, so we submitted the issue to Rogue Wave, um, but they didn't have any result on it and we found a workaround so I didn't press it. So we code in 2012 and build in 2010. Life's good. <laughs> until 2013 comes out. And modern C++, I do have to say I really like it. Um, the feature we used, we started using Serial. Uh, great <coughs> set of classes for doing serialization. Works really well with the STL containers, but it does require C++11, which meant that we had to smash this bug. And so uh, we knew the problem had came around in Visual Studio 2010 to 2012. It simply broke on compile. Um, stepping through the code, we found that the commands were being called without error. Um, so we decided to test, you know, because we originally thought it was strictly MRU-based, we decided to test the system to see, you know, was it also maybe the menu. Um, looking deeper into it, the set text was not working properly. We couldn't change any menu items. Um, asked people who knew more than me, and that didn't turn out anything. So then it was depending on Rogue Wave or Microsoft next, and, well, Rogue Wave has the maintenance agreement, so they needed to earn their money. Hardest part about fixing a bug, though, is reproduction, and the proof of concept was not easy. Like I said, we have all this legacy code. We have menu objects that are just sitting there, not even used. Um, so it took a lot of frustration and, and tools in the frustration range to get this worked out. The best frustration tool I found was this one. It does work really well when attached to concrete, and you want to use uh, towels to clean up extra blood. So, when you're coding stuff and you're frustrated, you sometimes leave things as artifacts, you know, because you just want the damn menu thing to work. And you got to remember to take those out before you send it to your vendor and your proof of concept. Otherwise, you follow Bite Me with an email begging for forgiveness because you really love their libraries. You just were frustrated at the time. In the end, uh, Terry over at Rogue Wave helped me find the problem. Microsoft had made a change from 2010 to 2012. Modify menu item became set menu item info. And they gave us a patch and it ended up working, but that was my four-year bug. And got to thank Terry at Rogue Wave and Kate for kicking me up here. And if you want to 
tell me about how bad this plan was. I'm, there's my email address. Thank you. <laughs>